In this series of videos, you'll learn how our social, economic, and physical environments affect our health behaviors and our risk for obesity. We have three learning objectives for this topic. By the end of this series of videos, you will be able to define the term obesogenic environment, apply the social ecological model to understand the various levels of influence on an individual's health behaviors, and identify aspects of individual social, economic, and physical environments that may interfere with the adoption and maintenance of health behaviors. This first video will teach you about the first topic learning objective, which is to define the term obesogenic environment. When you think about the most significant contributors to obesity, you likely already have a sense that there are a wide range of factors that are important contributors, and these factors range from genetic predisposition to personal choice to features of our social, economic, and physical environments. Over the past few decades, much research has aimed to better understand how our environments may influence our health behaviors, and a wide range of environmental features have been highlighted, including endocrine disruptors such as pollutants, circadian rhythm and sleep disruptors such as ambient light and noise from our neighborhoods, labor and time-saving technology such as cars and appliances, prepared foods that are energy dense and nutrient poor, social acceptance of frequent eating and eating in almost any context, whether it be walking down the street or driving, and features of our built environment, such as a lack of sidewalks or neighborhoods that are not safe for outdoor activity. Taken together, these and other environmental features contribute to what has been termed an obesogenic environment, which is defined as the range of environmental characteristics that promote behaviors that increase risk for obesity and hinder an individual's ability to maintain a healthy body weight. Remember that humans evolved in environments where food was scarce or required large amounts of energy to secure through hunting and foraging and prepare once obtained. Our modern day environments where energy dense food is easy to access and high levels of sedentary behavior and inactivity are common is a very recent phenomenon and is a stark contrast to the majority of human experience. Thus, weight loss was much easier than weight gain in traditional environments, and weight gain was adaptive and promoted survival. Within these traditional environments, average BMI tended to be lower. In modern environments, we have many social factors, such as social events centered around food and eating, and environmental factors, such as easy access to grocery and convenience stores, that make it easy to eat frequently and exercise infrequently. Now weight gain is a lot easier because we've usurped this energy balance problem that we face for much of human history. In our modern environment, our average BMI is relatively higher due to these drastic changes in our social and built environments. These social and environmental factors contribute to this idea of an obesogenic environment. This environment facilitates obesogenic behaviors that promote weight gain such as overconsumption of high energy density foods, inactivity, high levels of stress, and poor sleep. What ultimately determines our susceptibility to the features of our obesogenic environments is our biological propensity for weight gain. Those with higher biological propensity for weight gain are most likely to experience positive energy balance, weight gain, and obesity when faced with these obesogenic environments. Let's review some key takeaways. First, the term obesogenic environment refers to the range of environmental characteristics that promote obesity. Understanding these influences on weight-related behaviors is important because this understanding allows us to identify viable targets for our obesity-related prevention and intervention efforts. That's all for this video. Thank you for learning with me.